So diet is, is the main contributor to chronic disease, including poor complexion, poor health. So if, you, if, if, you're, if your skin is aging and you're not healthy, the first thing I tell people to do is keep a food diary. Anything you put in your mouth, write it down. Yeah. And you go back and you look at what you've done and you're not healthy and you go back and review that diary, there's going to be, the mystery is solved. People will recognize, no wonder I'm sick. Look what yeah. I've been eating. Yeah. Look at all the sugar I'm getting. And now people want to get their nutrients in the form of gummies and chews. I mean, that's the most ridiculous it's thing. It's the yeah. most ridiculous thing I've ever seen <laughs> yeah. in my 50 years of existence is why would I want to give my nutrients in the form of a gummy or chew, which completely destroys the microbiome. Uh, the sugar glycates many enzymes, causing them dysfunctional. Mm-hmm. The last thing Americans need is exposure to more sugar. Uh, so get your, get your nutrients directly from the source, yeah. uh, from the food. But I tell people all the time, you have to know, go to your local farmer's market. Know your local farmers. Yeah. Know how they grow their food. And then support the local farmers. I mean, that's a huge, uh, a huge benefit because not only is it supporting them and their enterprise, mm-hmm. but you know in that community that you're getting food that's hopefully going to be nutrient dense, and understand what how they how they use how they do their agriculture. Is it herbicide, pesticide free? <clears throat> Are they adding fertilizer and nutrients to the soil so that that plant and vegetable can actually yeah. assimilate the nutrients from the soil? If you're planting your crops in a soil that's depleted of nutrients, then how in the hell are the plants gonna assimilate that? There's nothing there to assimilate, and so we're, we're completely depleted, and, and this goes back to the days of Linus Pauling. Yeah. Won two Nobel Prizes, pretty smart guy, and he was famously quoted as saying that all chronic disease is caused by nutrient deficiency. And now I think, you know, fast forward 50 years, I think we can add on that and say, yeah, it's nutrient deficiency, but it's also exposure to toxins because you can replete a lot of missing nutrients mm-hmm. and vitamins and mineral. But if you're if you're ridden with toxins from the foods you eat and the environment you live in, repleting those missing nutrients are, isn't going to make you healthy. Now you have to focus on removing the toxins yeah. and replacing the missing nutrients. And now the body can heal. Yeah. You know, I, I remember back probably about 10 years ago when I started working with <clears throat> professional athletes, college athletes, and so I, I was blown away when I experienced so much of the, like, especially the college athletes, I mean, just stellar athletes, but their diet was crap. They wanted that sugar, that, yeah. that they wanted the good tasting stuff. Now here we are at an elite level experiencing that. What is just the general population yeah. looking for? And then I think about the gummies, how all of a sudden that came out. It kind of started with the kids, supplements and so forth to try to get kids to take supplements, right? But then it moved over to adults. Yeah. And it's almost like a marketing just scheme where, hey, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D, all the stuff that you need, but here's a nice tasty sugary supplement. So yeah. now you don't mind taking it where you know personally you don't eat kale because kale tastes bad. And now all of a sudden <laughs> kale tastes like a, a donut, right? Yeah. So, you know, it makes me really think about how um, sometimes marketing can be very manipulating overall. Um, and especially when companies are trying to tap more into the mass market right. of distribution and so forth. And I really think consumers need to take a real eye on that and understand overall when you're looking at a very cheap product price wise, you're looking at a formula that is more focused on taste rather than the actual efficacy of yeah. the product. Um, I think it should be alarming to people. No, it, it, it is alarming and it's, it's dangerous, you know, and, and I had personal experience with this. When my, I was a picky eater as a kid, mm-hmm. you know, and then my kids were, were picky eaters uh, when they were younger. And so, and, you know, I'm informed, I'm educated. And so I knew that we had to give them the nutrients. And so we actually went down this path probably 10, 15 years ago, and we gave our kids the vitamins in the form of a gummy. Mm-hmm. And prior to that, we would take them to the dentist once or twice a year, get cleanings, routine dental exams, and they had perfect teeth, perfect oral hygiene. 
And then a year later, after we started these gummies with the vitamins, they had three, four cavities. Mm -hmm. I mean, because what do you do? You take your vitamins at night before you go to bed. They'd already brushed their yeah. teeth. They come down, they take these gummies and chews, and now that gets in their teeth, changes the microbiome, acidifies their saliva, and it causes caries mm -hmm. and, and cavities. 